Everybody to me looks like beautiful, long-haired dancers, and I do not emulate that at all. Vegan dancers are so hard. You want over a million people to see you, what you just did? Is that ready? But I want you to get excited. These ladies have trained for an entire month just to perform for you right now. So give it up and let us hear it for the final day! month we're gonna learn how to dance like a professional dance crew. I'm so nervous already and it hasn't even started yet. Why did you get me into this? We'll be training three times a week leading up to a huge final performance in front of our whole office. When I think of the professional dancers you see on shows like So You Think You Can Dance or America's Best Dance Crew, I think perfection. Empowered. Flawless. We are not going to be as perfect or as beautiful but we're gonna try. I am not good at dancing but because of my athletic background I do have a fair amount of body awareness. Growing up dance was my entire life. To get even a percentage of what I used to be able to do back would be really fun. I've always wanted to take dance classes, but I've been super nervous because everybody in these classes looks like they know what the hell they're doing. I want to learn how to have the artfulness and confidence of a dancer with my own body. I could barely just do a presentation at work, let alone get in front of all my coworkers and dance in front of them. People are coming, I hear them. I just want to be able to just get out there and be awesome and be confident. Let's dance! On the first day, we get to the studio, and I'm really, really excited. Hey guys, I'm Robert. I used to be a former dancer in the industry. Robert's a great teacher. He's no nonsense, which reminds me of all of the dance teachers I've ever had. So today is a little bit orientation, kind of like a consultation. Great, so you're just trying to figure out if we suck or not. These girls coming from not having a dance background makes me a little bit nervous. Might not retain choreography as fast as needed. Since you, Miss Kelsey, said you are very confident in your skills, you start the dance. Left. Arch and left. Up, one step, boom, and then you're gonna bring it down. Our group seems like we're picking it up fast, so I'm really happy. Switch, switch, up, right, left, hit, down, up. First dance practice, down! Yes. We did it! I was scared that I was gonna walk away from this being like, what the hell did I get myself into? But honestly, I think this is gonna be a blast. Today just got so real. Learning the moves is one thing, and the cleaning day is a completely different story. We are going to run through the dance. I want to see the practice. They're smaller bodies than mine. Their bodies and how they move compared to my body and how it moves, like, it's not the same. Robert is constantly saying, be sexy in the face, make it believable. Energy is a performance. Just because you're doing a dance doesn't mean you're executing it well. Look how low I am. Look how high you guys are. Stop being babies. I'm skeptical. Robert is asking us to do a lot of things with our bodies that I don't know that my body can do. We all were struggling with it. We all felt really insecure about it. When you see like Beyonce's backup dancers do this, they're hired to shake their asses like that. They look great. Hopefully that comes with time, but I don't know that it will. You're shortchanging yourself. You need to be confident in what you're doing. I really don't think my body can move in the way they want me to. Good rehearsal, execution-wise, you gotta ramp it up. I thought it was just gonna be one dance, one song, that's it. Robert brings out the chairs and I already know it's coming. It's very sensual, it's very intimate. You know just what to do to make me fall in love, in love. I am worried that I will come off as too slutty. I want to be sexy, but my body is not doing that. Be sexy. I don't even know what that looks like. Yeah, I really like the beginning. I can see you're more confident with that too than as opposed to the chair stuff. So try to carry that confidence throughout. Just keep it, you know, constant, like high level the whole time. We're starting a new dance next week. You guys need to come Monday knowing your shit. I don't need to keep repeating myself anymore. When you're training for a show or you're on tour, you don't get to take days off. So we don't get to take days off either. Time is of the essence. Week three, we learned the third part of the dance. Little did I know what was in store. The movements are fast, they are specific. At this point, I'm wondering if I will ever be able to do the dance moves and remember them and be clean all at once. Hey guys, so it's end of week three. Next week we do 
perform. <laughs> Robert brings in Jermiel, who has actually shared the stage with Beyonce, and it was probably the most nerve-wracking thing I've done. I'm currently the dance captain for the Backstreet Boys Las Vegas show. Damn. Yay. No big deal. I've also worked with Jaquel Knight, Chuck Maldonado, Anthony Burrell. It's not fun for any dancer to come and critique us, let alone someone with this much experience. Let's see what you all got. He sits in the chair and watches us perform. Honestly, I feel like we had to look like shit. You want over a million people to see you, what you just did? Is that ready? Immediately he knows where all of our insecurities are. There's a difference between sexy and slutty. It's there, you know, so just take it back a little bit. I did love dance and I still do, but it is hard having your body critiqued constantly. I have found a problem I did not think would be a problem, and that's my face. Jordan, you have really, really distinguishable eyebrows. So just watch your face a little bit. You're a different body type. You have to go harder because people are looking at you. Everybody to me looks like beautiful, long-haired dancers, like how you're supposed to look, and I do not emulate that at all. Halfway through the rehearsal, I went to the bathroom and just bawled my eyes out. He gets to me and he says, You are so pretty. But I was expecting more. I'm looking at her, but I want her to do something to keep me looking at her. I want you to be a little bit more risky. I think my key is not to just try to make myself more confident, but be another version of myself that honestly has not existed up until this point. You need to immediately be like, boom. You can't be this person. Whatever it is that's holding you back, let it go. So this past weekend, we all went out dancing. And then we all realized, I think, oh wow, we actually can move, you know? We actually can have fun while we're dancing. It doesn't have to be super serious. It was just really great because it reminded me why I like dancing. I could not be more proud to share the stage with all of these really incredible women. And um, to be one of them is just gonna be such an honor. I'm at work right now, and I just realized that we're performing this week. It just hit me right now. Before we go up, I sit and tell myself, Jasmine, you've got this. To know that people are gonna watch me and compare me and judge me is just terrifying. What are you excited to see today? So I wanna see a lot of heart and I wanna see a lot of sex. The booty's gotta be on point. Honestly, I'm looking for facial expressions. It's all in the face. People are in the upstairs people portion are, of the stage. People are going up the stairs and onto the balcony. There's nowhere to sit. I'm gonna throw up. At this point, we've been through the trenches together. We know we're gonna make it to the other side together. Give it up and let us hear it for the final dance! I go on stage and immediately the crowd starts making noises and I like zero in and I'm feeling pretty fierce. People were loving it. They didn't know if we messed up or not. That energy was so contagious. hard time accessing sexiness because I'm from a really conservative family. Just putting on the costume makes me feel, okay, maybe I can pull this off. Dancing with a crowd in front of me is nerve wracking, but at the same time, like, at least I'm not looking at myself. In front of those mirrors, you're like judging yourself, you're looking at yourself. In front of these people, I was like, honey, I'm about to work it. It's just very gratifying to show off your hard work. It's this 
an amazing catharsis of hard work, passion, and teamwork coming together. I've always had respect for dancers and the commitment, but I forgot the mental game. The toll is not just on your body, it's emotional too. I kind of found my sexy, empowered alter ego. I went into this challenge wanting to feel more comfortable with my sexuality, and I definitely came out on the other side learning a lot about who I am and the limits that I impose on myself. This whole month was just a big learning experience about just myself and my body, and comparing it to others is not ever, like, ever the way to go about things. I wanted to come out of this challenge feeling like a more confident person. And there's a lot of self-doubt when you're doing it, but then it's all worth it in the end. Ladylike is moving to our own new channel, where you're going to find more of the great videos you love. Click here to subscribe!